All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Giving God all the honor, all the glory, and definitely all the praise. I'm coming with a little word this morning. I want to talk about politics for a moment. Something I don't really never do videos about because just my opinion. There's too many preachers that get so caught up in politics that they forget totally about the word of God. And you ever want to start up a great argument, talk about some politics, all that arguing and debating. And, and the question is, how should a Christian view politics? And I'm going to say this off top. This is a big problem. What's wrong with a lot of churches? Because of politics done got mixed up in the church. And religion is already a mess. Tradition a bunch of mess. So I want to ask a, a true question, and it's not a trick question. Do religion and politics mix? Now, I'm asking this question for a reason because I'm talking to those who have studied from Genesis to Revelation. And I'm talking about this one, this new world, people like to call it the NWO, the New World Order. And I'm talking about the religious system. And how this stuff all ties in together. So it's not a trick question. Do religion and politics mix? Can a Christian have political views outside the considerations of their Christian faith? See, let me say something, people. Men, or we can say mankind, they abuse political power all the time, every day. We can see that. Just cut the internet on, cut the TV on. And some do it for evil. But God means things for our good. And what you really need to realize, I want to hit a bunch of people in the head when I say this. What you really need to realize is that the government cannot save you. Only God can. Let me back back up, rewind, say that again. The government cannot save you. God can. It's too many people waiting on the government. I mean, to be real, you can see what the government is doing. I got veteran friends of mine that can't even get help from the government, and they don't went to the country and almost lost their life, and they in bad shape, bad health and strength, and they can't even get help from the government. I'm just having a real talk video. That's why I say the government can't save you. This is why I'm going to say something else off the wall that people are not going to agree with. It does not matter who gets in the office, who is in position next. If Obama get reelected or whatever, or whoever, it don't even matter. This word of God this is what people don't want to talk about. Man, you can put a tadpole in the office and it can run this, this country now. The word of God is going to happen just as it is written and it is happening. If you think I'm lying, look around. And Brother Taylor, you asked me about Obama. Now I got to get all the way real in this video. I don't have nothing against the brother. I don't have nothing against nobody. But I tell the truth. As a child of God, I'm going to make a lot of people mad when I say this. As a child of God, I'm speaking for self, not you. Me, JT, I cannot follow somebody who want to follow sin. I don't follow man no way. I follow God. I can't play a part of a of we're gonna legalize homosexuality. It's okay for two men to get married. I can't play a part of, oh, it's okay for a woman to kill their child, abortion. Because the scriptures plain as day teaches me. That's not of God. And anybody, I don't care what your name is, Obama, whoever. Bishops, I cannot support that. And I stand boldly on that. Well, JT, what are you going to do? Are you going to vote? Let me tell you something. JT voted for God a long time ago. My trust is in God, not Obama, not the government. The government can't save me. It make me think of, of the Romans back in the, in the Bible days. When you look at the pagan world, we ain't no different. This pagan world, all this idolatry still going on. This is a corrupt world we live in, this mess. 
Let me let me be real with you, because you won't find it nowhere in the New Testament with Jesus, nor any of his apostles. They wasn't going around wasting time and burning energy trying to school believers on how to reform this pagan world. That's why Peter talked about persecution. That's why those who followed Christ, they was persecuted. I just got off blog talk about 20, 30 minutes ago with Minnie Man and Lady D and I Rock and, and Brother Marquise. And we was talking about faith. These are the times where you're going to really see where people faith is really at and who they faith is really in. Because I find it hard to believe there's too many Christians out here that lost their faith. Because they waiting on what the president going to do next. I've been talking a lot about evil spirits, paganism, witchcraft, these evil spirits. And I've been saying all of this for a reason, PP drawings, ain't we right? Because there's a lot going on and a lot been going on. When I think about scriptures, the apostles never called for believers to demonstrate civil disobedience to protect the Roman Empire back then. Instead, the apostles commanded the first century Christians, as well as us today, to proclaim the gospel. Spread the gospel and live lives that's pleasing to God. That we would live lives that would give clear evidence to God's true word. But are we really living it? You're supposed to be a good citizen and do what's right. But check this out. The government is the one that won't do right neither. The government is the government all that right. Look at all these crooked people. You think the government is actually doing what's right? Are they really helping the poor or are they taxing the hell out of the poor? Are they really obeying the Bible or do they want, they want to just use it for something to swear on? They always want to base their little stuff on the on, on the Bible, but really they don't care nothing about the Bible. Nowadays, the Constitution is more important than the Bible. God, by God knowing all things ahead of time, God knew that this world was going to need a Savior a long time ago. Before any national government was ever founded, God already knew that this world was going to need a Savior. And we sit here and act like, oh, well, God is going to just, God going to bless America. God going to keep sharing his grace forever and forever. Oh, brother, just have faith. You can live any kind of way. And God is going to accept that. I don't know what Bible people are reading. Because last time I checked, God don't accept sin. It's a list of what will not inherit the kingdom. That's why when I talk about Obama, I have nothing against him. But when you get to talking about it's okay for a man to marry a man, a woman to marry a woman, it's okay. I support if you're going to kill your child. When a child is a blessing, didn't even ask to be here. I don't want no part of that. I pray for Obama. But this, even if Obama would have never got in the office, this ain't a black thing. This ain't a white thing. This is a devil thing. Satan don't care nothing about color. He used anybody he can get. If Obama never would have gotten in office, I would be still saying the same thing. Most people that's black voted because he was black. They didn't even give a damn about his background or who he was. Or didn't even try to find out to learn nothing about him. Oh, we got a black man going to be president. Black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, it don't matter. This word of God is happening. Revelation is being revealed. You can put anybody you want that you can think going to be the best in the office. And the killing going to keep happening. The gas going to keep going up. The oil, long as the oil up, expect the gas to stay up. The crime rate, the divorce rate, all this stuff is happening. Why? Because we are living in those days and they're going to get worse before they get better i look to the hills i told y'all i don't wait on the funeral to say this i look to the hills from where my help come from and my help comes from the lord politics all in the church is just confusion some of these preachers won't get involved in nothing unless they on tv in front of a crowd 
Some of these preachers won't come together unless they're going to be seen on TV or at a funeral. I believe deep in my heart, Brother Minnie Man, if most preachers could come together and, 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 and get in a room together and, and, and really truly stand on this word of God and encourage each other and lift each other up, this world would be in a better spot. The church would be in a better spot. But we got too many preachers against each other. Half of them won't talk to each other because they mad and jealous of one another. That's why we the only ones left that's going to spread this word. And I'm going to do it till I can't do it no more. After I have ran the race, kept the fight, fought the good fight, I want the Lord to tell me, come on, son, my good and my faithful servant, sit down and rest for a while. You have done well. I don't want him to say, depart from me, JT. I don't know who you are. It's a line over there going toward a wide gate. That's your home. I don't want to hear the Lord say that. I'm like you, many man said, I can't go to the lake of fire. Many man, I can't even stand this triple. This, this These three digits, this, this weather down here, 120 degrees, 110 degrees, 108. I can't even stand that. Lord knows I don't even want no part of what the lake of fire going to feel like. I don't even want the damn oven on too long. I don't like heat. And I want to spend my life, the rest of my life, my eternal life, with my heavenly Father. God bless you and God keep you. Stop thinking that the government going to save you. They can't. God can. Peace and remain blessed.